I'm Ms. Artastic and today we're going to draw a lovely little polar bear. So grab your favorite mark making mediums and let's make some art. <laughs> So we're going to begin our polar bear by drawing our polar bear's head. So we're going to draw some zigzag lines up for the fuzzy hairs on the top of the head. Then come back down the other side. Next, we're going to draw two fuzzy polar bear ears. So I'm just using my zigzag lines, but I'm not making them very hairy, just tiny zigzag lines, and I'm drawing them in a nice circular shape. Next, we're going to draw the polar bear's snout. So we're going to draw a nice curve line. So we're going to curve, curve in, around, across, back down and in. Bring it down into a letter T shape here. And then you can color it in. So it's kind of like a bubble letter T except for we just curve in the ends of it. And that's gonna make a nice little polar bear nose. And we're gonna color in the nose black except we're going to leave a little bit of white on top just for some highlights perfect next we're going to do a nice snout so we're going to draw an oval around the nose we're gonna draw a line down from the nose and then two small diagonals on either side. Next, we're going to draw a circle in each ear. You can color those circles in black. We're going to do two eyes. So on either side of the snout, you're going to draw a circle. In that circle, you're going to draw one big circle and also one smaller circle. Next, you're going to color in the eyes. You're gonna color in the eyes black, leaving those two circles in each eye white. Perfect. You can add a couple little hatching lines on either side there for some fur. Same on the forehead there. Next, you can use your zigzag lines to create your polar bear's face. And then we're going to add a little scarf. So one curving line down Add a U shape and then connect that on either side. Add two rectangles underneath and then we're going to add some smaller rectangles below that for the tassels. If you want, you can also add stripes 
on your scarf using curved lines. And then you can go across for the other parts. Finally, to finish it off, we'll just do a couple zigzag lines down. And that is our polar bear. And now our polar bear is ready to be colored. Okay, so grab your favorite coloring medium. So you can use whatever you want. Uh, first, we're gonna take a blue and just color around our polar bear. We don't need to color the whole background. We just wanna indicate that the polar bear is white and the paper or the background is different. And this is also gonna help make our polar bear stand out. So go ahead and color just the areas around your polar bear or if you want to do the whole background, you can. But add some blue for the sky. Grab your gray, um, anywhere that you have maybe come in onto the white, that's okay. We're gonna go around the edge of our polar bear with gray, so anywhere we want some shadows. You can even do it around the dark in the ears. And you can use whatever medium you have if you have Wax crayon, you can just shade lightly. It's all good. You can add a little bit of gray around the eyes. You can add gray around the underside of the nose, around the snout. Just using a gray felt marker, but look at what it can do, hey? You can use gray under the scarf and down the sides of the body. I'm also going to add a bit of gray underneath the scarf on either side. Add a shadow. And where the scarf overlaps. Perfect. Now we're gonna grab our colors and color in this lovely polar bear. Okay, so we're gonna color in the scarf and you can use whatever colors you want. So grab your favorite colors and color in the scarf to finish up the bear.
And once you're done coloring in your scarf, your lovely polar bear is done. If you liked that video, hit subscribe as new art lessons are added weekly. Teacher, if you are looking for some fully planned art lessons, please make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, or for fully planned art teacher curriculum, head on over to artasticcollective.com. Or if you're looking for some other teaching ideas and art inspiration, you can visit my blog at msartastic.com or listen to the Ms. Artastic podcast on your favorite podcast player.